Welcome back everybody to another LEGO Star Wars Top 10 video. In today's video, I've got my Top 10 LEGO Star Wars sets I regret not buying. So in this video, I've pretty much got uh, a list of 10 sets, all from ranging uh, you know, from the years about 2008 through 2020, uh, you know, or I assume maybe about 2019 or so, you know, uh, the last like retired wave. Uh, pretty much of all LEGO Star Wars sets I regret uh, you know, seeing on the shelves and not purchasing at that point, um, you know, just due to whatever cause, you know, maybe not having enough money or asking for the wrong set or just not, you know, really wanting it at that point, but definitely looking back and wanting it now. So I've got 10 sets, guys. Let's get into it without further ado. Uh, the first one has to be the 751670 Bounty Hunter uh, Speeder Bike Battle Pack. Uh, this is one that for the longest time, the entire time I was on the shelf, I wanted to pick it up, but I just did not want to pay $14.99 for it. And uh, I, I, truthfully, I don't think I ever saw it for less than that. I might have seen it for maybe 20% off, but it was one of those where I was buying other stuff and didn't really feel the need for it. And then eventually it just retired. I can't find it anywhere. Uh, this is from 2017, and I really regret not picking it up. It's, you know, a cheap way to get Bosk, you know, all the other bounty hunters, a nice little, uh, you know, speeder. And the resale on it's not crazy, but again, I'm just not a big fan of like paying resale uh, for sets like this. And a lot of these other ones on the list have gone up in value a lot. So uh, here's definitely kind of a, a quick one on the list that I do really do regret not buying, um, but it's not really the end of the world, but it would have been nice to pick it up. Uh, so there's number 10, guys. Moving on to number nine, we have set number 7676, the uh, 2008 Republic Attack Gunship. Uh, this is one pretty much from back in the day where, you know, I was only seven years old at the time when it came out. Uh, you know, that Christmas, I pretty much either had the opportunity to get the uh, the ATTE at that point or the Republic Attack on ship. I chose the ATTE, as you guys mo you know, probably all know. Um, so I did choose that. So I got that for Christmas. It's kind of like my big Lego set. And of course, being young at the time, you know, I was really only able to get stuff, you know, birthday, Christmas, you know, a couple small sets here and there from the parents, but uh, you know, not all the time. So like $120 set just out of the blue probably wouldn't have happened. And then for some reason, I, I know 20 or 2009, 2010 Christmas, both those years, I asked for pretty much a lot of stuff that wasn't Star Wars. I don't know why, but you know, I had a couple of really good Christmases, you know, with all like castle stuff and pirate stuff and world racers and, and agents and stuff like that and Indiana Jones where I just was never able to pick up the 7676. And actually, uh, my friend down the street actually had the set. You know, he was about the same age, I think two years older than me. And he let me borrow it for something just for like using it like on a thing or let me borrow for a week. I let him borrow something. And uh, my dad actually knocked it off the shelf at one point where looking back, I don't know if all those parts or majority of the parts are somewhere in my collection. I don't think so. I've not really seen any of the you know, really special pieces in the set. So I don't know if I eventually like gave them back the bin that had the set. I, I don't know. So I'm not really not sure, but I might actually have the set in my collection but completely destroyed. So uh, there's definitely that, guys. Moving on to another one, uh, 7751, the Ahsoka Starfighter and Vulture Droid set. Uh, this is one that I believe was an exclusive to Walmart, uh, if I recall. And this is one that, you know, truthfully, I don't really remember seeing it on the shelf. But I know, of course, you know, came out like 2009. Uh, you know, I was into Lego. I was, I was collecting and I, I started my hobby then. And uh, I, I should have really picked it up at that point. You know, really just kind of have all the Starfighters. This set on the aftermarket does go for quite a lot. That's why I've not picked it up since. But I do actually have every other uh, Jedi Starfighter, uh, you know, Clone Wars style, and uh, and actually ep Episode Three, uh, aside for the dark blue one, uh, in my collection. And uh, this is one that I, I regret not picking up. You know, I, I wouldn't mind it. You know, the Vulture Droid is one of the better ones in the set. Uh, you know, the Ahsoka Starfighter for the collection. And uh, other than that, the minifigures aren't bad. You know, the Buzz Droids are cool to have. Uh, R7A7 is exclusive. And uh, so Katano, you know, for what it is, she's pretty cool. So uh, there's definitely my number eight, guys. Moving on to number seven, we have set number 9515, the Malevolence. Uh, this came out in 2012. And, uh, yeah, this is one that was an another one of those cases where it's just really expensive at the time. Uh, you know, I wasn't making much money. I wasn't making money from YouTube. I actually didn't even have a YouTube channel when this set came out. Uh, you know, probably before I retired, I did since i started my channel in uh march of 2013 but um I, yeah i just didn't really have the money for it and at that time you know my, my parents you know buying me sets here and there me making a little bit of money here and there uh you know definitely could not afford a 120 dollar uh, malevolence and looking back I, I i remember not really liking the the look of this set you know uh, i just for what it is i had most of the minifigures you know i had a count dooku i had an anakin i had a grievous uh the padme looking back i still want that padme right now she's about a ten dollar figure i can probably get here get her separate and uh, looking back i just always thought the malevolence just didn't really look 
you know, bulky enough and big enough for $120. So that's kind of why I never asked for it, I feel. But looking back, it's definitely one I want to add to the collection pretty soon here. Moving on to the next one, guys, we have, uh, which of this is actually good, so I'm just going to kind of briefly go over it, uh, 75093, the Death Star Final Duel. If you guys don't already know, there's pretty much an exact remake coming out in 2020, uh, so I'll have no issue there. I'll just get the new one, not the old one, but uh, for the longest time, though, honestly, uh, you know, I do I do want this set. You know, I, it's, uh, you know, part of a uh, classic scene of the movies. Uh, you know, it's built very well. I like all the minifigures, and I would not mind having this built on my shelf, but... Of course, aftermarket prices are uh, pretty high. They're probably going to go down a little bit now with the remake, but I'd probably just rather get the remake at this point and uh, pay just regular retail and uh, get it for my collection. So uh, there's that, guys. Moving on to number four, we have uh, the 75020, the, uh, the Jabba Sail Barge. And this is one where, if you guys know, I, I recently got the J Jabba's Palace. I, I like it. It's not 100% complete yet, but I will eventually complete it. And I also would not mind having the sail barge next to it. Uh, you know, looking back, I, I really do like all these bigger sets, you know, like the $100, $150 range uh, sets. You know, I think they're all done really well. You know, very good size, very good, uh, you know, proportions, and just kind of how they look. You know, I think they all look awesome on the shelf. So, uh, you know, I would not mind getting this. I, I'm probably going to wait for a remake, though. I'd assume they're going to remake this. At, at some point i mean within the next couple of years um you know they've already done it twice so i don't see why they would not do it a third time but uh there's definitely the number four on my list moving on to the top three here guys these are probably my top three most wanted star wars sets in general i mean again that's kind of why they're on this list but also just for the fact um you know just overall even if i was doing all the way from 1999 to uh 2020 uh, these are definitely the top three on my list right now and the third one being 9526 the star wars palpatine's arrest so uh this one uh all the minifigures are fantastic in this set i'm a big prequel guy i love anakin i love this whole scene in the movie it's fantastic and uh all these exclusive you know printed minifigures all the minifigures looking fantastic i mean the minifigures themselves you know, there's six of them in there. They go for like a hundred bucks itself. So I know this set's very expensive sealed on the box, but if I were to pick it up, I'd probably pick up a used one. Uh, I don't necessarily need all the minifigures, but it's definitely one that I would not mind having built uh, on display in my collection uh, since I'm a big fan of the movie, big fan of the scene, and a uh, big fan of the prequel. So there's definitely the third one guys and again this one came out in 2012 i had every opportunity to get it i guess but I, I you know i just kind of passed it um you know since i did not have all the money in the world at the time so moving on to number two guys we have the atot with dropship uh this is definitely one you know that one you know one that i i, I really do still want I, I i wish i picked it up at the time but it was 250 dollars you know back in 2009 I had no means of getting it. Like my parents, again, would spot me maybe a $20 set here, 30 bucks here, 50 bucks here, you know, maybe $100 for birthday, $100 for Christmas, but just none of that ever lined up enough where I'd have $250 to spend on this set. I, I definitely remember asking for it, but, you know, it just didn't really happen at the time. My parents didn't like spoil me completely. You know, they didn't buy me everything I wanted, but I mean, they definitely treated me right, uh, you know, with, you know, buying me stuff, but uh, looking back, this is definitely one I just, I need for the collection. I really do. I mean, the dropship and ATOT, again, I, just how I said earlier, you know, I love those bigger vehicles and, you know, these have not been done in any other form, any other set. Uh, there's no other way to get them aside for custom ones, but I really do want to get the official, you know, dropship and ATOT. I don't even need the minifigures. I definitely don't need it sealed, but I definitely want to have it built up to be next to my gunships, be next to my ATTEs, my turbo tanks, and uh, have it look awesome for the clone army. So uh, there's definitely number two guys. Moving on to the first one, you guys all know this. I've brought this up so much. Uh, you know what, uh, that my number one is uh, set number one hundred two one two, the Star Wars Imperial Shuttle, uh, the UCS one. Uh, this is just phenomenal. I just I really want it built. Uh, you know I'm a big fan of the shuttle. I, I just I like the white. It looks so sleek. It's a very big set as well. Um, so I definitely can't wait to eventually get this. Resale prices are, are coming down a little bit. They're coming down a little bit. I mean, I, for, a, for a used one, you know, about 400 bucks, 500 bucks, which, uh, you know, still a hefty amount. I mean, it's still very expensive. I don't think we're going to be getting a remake of it anytime soon. I think there's a lot of other stuff in the pipeline beforehand, but uh again i mean that's kind of why it's part of the list you know all, all these sets right here what would it cost me maybe about fifteen hundred dollars retail ish maybe twelve hundred ish uh you know throughout the years and now it's easily going to cost me about four thousand five thousand to uh, get all this stuff uh you know sealed let alone you know used as well maybe about thirty five hundred or so but uh yeah that's pretty much all for this video guys these are the top 10 sets on my uh, lego star wars want list uh you know sets i regret not buying if you guys do want to send me any of these sets let me know i'll definitely send you over my address but uh, other than that though guys um i'll thank you guys all for watching please only comment and subscribe stay safe everyone and see you guys all in the next one bye guys five percent off on your next lego purchase be sure to use code lifebrick uh, that's capital l-i-f-e brick 
at republicbricks.com for 5% off your next order. We'll pretty much pay for your shipping or get you a couple dollars off. They sell old Lego minifigures, sets, mystery boxes, and more. I've got a couple videos on my channel uh, showing the products, uh, so be sure to use code LifeBrick on your next order for, uh, for 5% off.